It was quite a while ago, and in terms of money, it was a different world. But the Ronan Keating hosted Shindig was representative of the buzz in the Republic at the time. This is Dublin! This is the point, Jeppo! The economy was a giant and the acts were colossal. In 1999, you couldn't get bigger than this. The atmosphere was just alive. It was the energy in Dublin that weekend was just incredible. Everybody wanted to be at the MTV Music Awards. And, you know, it really brought that energy into Dublin that we didn't really have before. It wasn't just the energy, though. The celeb count was through the roof and 20,000 hotel rooms were booked. I think it probably set the scene for 10 years of fantastic growth and tourism into Dublin. A very exciting time, very dynamic, put Dublin really at the centre of the music world. Uh, and probably changed people's opinions, maybe maybe Dublin was a little bit dull before it, and certainly it was very vibrant afterwards. So the awards were essential for putting the city on the international tourist trail. We were just on the cusp of really uh, developing Dublin as a, as a leading European capital for short breaks. And uh, I think what the MTV Awards was, it really just gave us a huge boost. And uh, it just really catapulted us up there among the best in Europe. When it comes to money and magic, it seems the awards delivered. But apart from honouring Bono, what did the event do for local music? You always get an injection of excitement and enthusiasm when people know that something on this scale is happening. And so there's a sense in which people feel, you know, if uh, the cars can be up there this year, that, that if they can do it, you can do it as well. And that's always a great sort of inspiration for people. If the awards have the same impact 12 years on, Belfast should be flooded with tourists as well as motivated musicians. And so we might even need our own Wall of Fame.